This is chapter 2, elementary programming, programming exercise 12, physics, runaway length. Given an airplane acceleration A, so we're going to use A for acceleration and takeoff speed V, V for the takeoff speed, you can compute the minimum runway length needed for an airplane to take off using the formula, following formula. So that length, minimum length, is basically a uh, v for takeoff speed squared divided by 2 times a for the acceleration. So we're going to write a program that prompts the user to enter v in meters per second and acceleration a in meters per second squared. Then display the minimum runway length. All right, so since this exercise is right here, self-explanatory uh, on what we need to do. I'm going to jump straight into the program. All right, so it's pretty uh, simple and straightforward. So I'm going to create scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. And then we're going to create two variables, A and V. But we're going to be more specific and we'll say acceleration and velocity all right actually hmm v for uh, v should be more all right all right uh yeah you know what it's fine and then we finally have also the length minimum length runway length so system dot out dot print and we're going to ask the user to enter the uh speed and speed is for acceleration equals input dot next double. All right, system dot out dot print. Enter the cell. Oh, acceleration. So this should actually be a velocity. We have acceleration equals input dot next double. All right, and now we calculate for it, which is simply v squared. Um, was it v squared? Yeah, v squared. So be velocity squared. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called math dot power. All right, math dot power is a function in the math class it's a uh, so power is the function math is a class so we go into the math class and we use this function and the first number is the number that we want to perform our power to which is velocity and we put a comma here and this will be to the power whatever you want to put so we want to square it so to the second power and we're going to divide this whole thing by uh acceleration times 2 and we want to put this in a parentheses so it'll know that uh, you I want to calculate for the acceleration times 2 first and then I want to calculate for the velocity squared and then I want to divide that by this acceleration times 2 right and we'll store that into the length All right, and now we have here the minimum runway length for this airplane is length. And bam, we are done. Quick and simple exercise. And that's why I basically uh, ran right through it, right? So we'll enter 60 for the speed and 3.5 for the... Uh, uh, velocity and here we go the minimum runway length for this airplane is 514 meters <laughs> all right so simple exercise I just want to run right through it uh, shouldn't be too tricky to do that's why uh, didn't uh, think I would need to explain too much for this exercise all right and that'll be it